Hey everybody, it's John O'Brien, founder of Operation Hope, um, entrepreneur. I'm so proud to say today I'm a black entrepreneur. I'm live from Paris, France, and I just wanted to go live real quick. About, I've got to go to an appointment here soon, so it won't be a long live. But uh, why, have I, why have I, first of all, kudos to Robert Smith. If you didn't know who he was uh, three hours ago, but now the world will know who Robert Smith is. Um, I just spoke to him last week, along with Ambassador Andrew Young on a conference call, introduced by another uh, African-American success story out of Austin, Texas, Texas, Dr. Tim George, another brilliant guy who you probably never heard of that you need to get to know, a neurosurgeon. Hey, Tony. Uh, but, but this brother just committed uh, in the Morehouse commencement speech, and my friend, uh, Dr. Thomas, who's the president of Morehouse, will be speaking at the whole Global Forum coming up uh, May 29th and May 31st. Um, Dr. Thomas should be just just cheering right now. So Robert Smith, an African American billionaire, a businessman, and entrepreneur, who runs the fourth largest integrated software company in the world, I believe it is, um, behind Microsoft and and, and the biggies. Um, he, he's got like forty thousand employees or something. Do this do his roll up and his holding. Anyway, he committed. Uh, do some research on Robert. Do some research on Robert Smith. He committed forty million dollars to wipe out the student loan debt um, of every student at Morehouse College. Just let that sink in for a minute. G give him some love. Give him some kudos on this on this stream. I want I want you to I want you to celebrate. I want you to share this video with with everybody that you know. I, I want share 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 share. Nobody has done anything close to this that I'm aware of. Say. African American. If you're aware of it, you let me know. We've got a, a lot. Of, it, look, God bless all our black everybody. I mean, uh, basketball players, football players, baseball players, um, singers, actors, actresses, uh, you know, artists. God bless them. Politicians. God bless them. But what have I been telling you? <laughs> okay. Even if you want to distribute money like a socialist, you have to first collect it like a capitalist. There's nothing more powerful than a black businessman or a brown businessman or businesswoman trying to impact their own community, build it, grow it, collect it, and if you want to give it away and donate it, then so be it. So, so be it. You don't need a committee. You, you, you don't need a, you don't need a, 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 a resolution. You just, you just get up on stage and say, you know what, I feel good today, I've, been, I've done well in my life, I'm the committee of one, me and my wife, which is what Robert Smith is probably did, and we're going to commit $40 million to wipe out all the student loan debt of every student at Morehouse College. Boom! Drop the mic, okay? Um, I wrote something, I'm going to put it in the, when I get back from dinner later on, I'll put it in the text copy of, uh, of the, uh, I'm going to put it in the body of, of of this video so you can link it. I wrote something, I don't know, eight years ago, certainly five years ago, called if, uh, if, Bill, Ga if Bill Gates Was Black. And what I said, and some people found it offensive, they thought I was dissing um, uh, the black president, President Obama, which I wasn't. I served President Obama and think the guy is brilliant. It had, he had no uh, uh, embarrassments. Um, no scandals during his, his administration, and I, I was honored, honored to serve him as an advisor. I've been honored to serve three U.S. presidents. I just think that the government of the, the era of big government solving all of our problems is pretty much gone, and that governments are broke. City governments are broke. Federal governments are broke. Countries are broke. They don't have the resources they used to, and in many cases, they don't have the imagination or the vision. So we're not doing big things like the Marshall Plan anymore in governments, at least not right now. Um, and uh, that's not a diss or anything. It's just that this is, this is the era of the business class. It's the era of free enterprise. It's the era of, of billionaires and, and, and bankers and business people who can then create jobs. Uh, we, it's, it, we have to, by the way, upgrade capitalism to make it more civil, more moral, more ethical. we got to prove to be a capitalist and not be a jerk, which is what I'm trying to do in my own enterprises, the 40 enterprises I've created. Um, through both Operation Open on the nonprofit side and Brian Convictions on the for-profit side, um, and and I'm doing my I'm doing my little part. Uh, well, not little, but you know, I mean, I'm doing my part. But but we need so much more, and we need. So I said in this article that Bill Gates was black. But if Bill Gates was black, it'd be 
a hundred times more powerful than having a black president. No disrespect intended for the black president. Of course, some people were offended because they, they were, were emotional and they thought, oh, that's John Bryant's attacking somebody. I'm not. It's not an or conversation. It's an and conversation. I think, and I think that we have had a range of black leaders um, and brown leaders come up from you know, educators and social justice leaders and freedom fighters, you know, trying to trying to get us freed from slavery 300 uh, years, uh, 300 plus years ago, uh, all the way up through preachers and local politicians and state politicians and uh, federal politicians and, and then, of course, a global leader. Uh, and it just, to me, the natural integration, the natural progress with this is that we need an era of the black businessman and black businesswoman, the entrepreneur, the job creator. That that Bill Gates uh, uh, created. Uh, I mean, he was worth you know at one point the richest man in the world. He's still one of the top three or four, and you know he cre- he was a was worth seventy I think seventy billion, which means that the next ra- level below him was worth at least a couple billion, which means the next level below him was worth you know a few hundred million, which means the next level of executives below him in Microsoft were worth let's just say fifty million, which means the next level below them were worth. A couple million, which means the next level below them were were making several hundred thousand dollars, maybe worth a million. And the next level, you see what I'm saying? And then, and you're talking about tens of thousands of employees who then become philanthropists in their own neighborhood, who become community leaders in their own neighborhood, who start giving back the things that they're that they think are important. And if you happen to come from, if you happen to be a Hispanic female, guess where you're going to give back to? You're going to probably give to causes that involve Hispanics and fem and 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 women and girls. If you're a black female, guess what? You probably empower and will fund black women. If you are a, a blonde female, guess what? You'll probably help young girls of all races. Uh, if you're a black entrepreneur, uh, black male entrepreneur like Robert Smith, you'll probably go to Morehouse and drop 40 million bucks to wipe out student loan debt. Boom, right? But that, but the government's not going to do that, right? No disrespect intended. But the city of Atlanta, I love the city of Atlanta. City of Atlanta government can't do that. The scandal would be through the roof, right? And you had to go through all the procurement. And I mean, by the time we got that done, uh, you know, you, you'd have had to give it the one scholarship to each school, and you know. But then, then, then somebody would say, "Well, that's my money. That's public money. You can't do that." And by the way, they're right. It is public money. So by the way, it wouldn't happen. Here's a dude who just said, "I'm going to do it." And uh, and by the way, you can do it too. You can you can get inspired, pledge to do something. No different. Then Robert Smith, maybe you can't donate $40 million, but you can go to hopecommitments.org, hopecommitments.org, and agree to mentor a child one day a, a month for, for 12 months, or bring two interns into your barbershop or whatever. But everybody can do something through hopecommitments.org. Back to the topic, which we're going to announce at the Hope Global Forum. I just am so proud of Robert Smith today. I'm going to send him a note first thing tomorrow, send him a basket. Uh, we should be saluting him and, and, and applauding him, but, but we also should be modeling him because the next role model we need is a businessman and businesswoman and entrepreneur at scale. If you can't get a job, create a job. We need to be creating jobs at scale, and the way you do that is through entrepreneurship and small business. I'm in France right now where the word entrepreneur is a French word. It came from France. Probably one of the toughest places in the world to be an entrepreneur today is France because they've just made it so difficult and tough, even though it's a great country, to, to start a business and to become a startup. So now you have this tension with, with poor blacks and browns and others, and even poor white, struggling middle class whites in the suburbs who have got too much money in their money. And people are tr- trying to solve problems through socialism here. It, no, the economy is just getting smaller because you can't you can't give this thing away, right? You can't just print money. You've got to inspire doers and builders and encourage people from the ground up to build something from nothing. Uh, and, and, the cre- and, and Robert Smith started from nothing, right? And now he's controlling a, a global empire worth billions. And he's giving some of it back, and he's giving away his money. Somebody can say a word about it, right? Uh, it's just beautiful. And imagine if there was a Robert Smith in every city. Uh, no, just imagine if there were just I don't know 20 Robert Smiths. I mean, white community has more billionaires than they can count. Uh, my Jewish brothers and sisters have got more billionaires uh, and, and and multi-millionaires than they can count. L- legitimate business successes, and they're not from the arts and entertainment exclusively. Which are narrow industry, but people keep thinking I'm I'm jamming up arts and entertainment. I'm not. I love arts and entertainment, but I can't I can't scale Jay Z. I love Jay Z. He's a brand. I can't scale any of these. I can't scale basketball players. I can't scale LeBron. He's a personality. 
I can scale Robert Smith. You can replicate Robert Smith's success. You can go do that. You can replicate the Promise Homes Company and the 700 homes I own in Atlanta with my partners in Atlanta and uh, in uh, Florida. Uh, that's not rocket science. You can become an engineer. You can become a businessman or a businesswoman. You can become an entrepreneur. You can become a self-employment project. You can start a business. Maybe, you, maybe you're not going to be a billionaire, but maybe you can be a millionaire or be a thousandaire but, or, or just be enough, have enough hustle to go and buy some air. Uh, just, just, want, just want to go do something. Or have a barbershop and employ five people in your neighborhood. But the best way to have a bullet probably is a job. And by doing what he just did, I got to go now, by doing what Robert Smith just did, not only did he inspire a whole generation of young people, to, and not, not only did he just become a role model that people can emulate, but he re removed an incredible albatross around these young people's neck called student loan debt that, was, that, would, that would restrict their ability to move, grow, and be. So he did three things. One, he showed what the power of business, the positive power of business and free enterprise and capitalism. Boom. Number two, uh, he removed an albatross around these kids' neck. Uh, of optionality, so now they can now that student loan debt would have been a would have been a, a mortgage. Now they can go get a mortgage to buy a home, or it would have been, I mean they, they, it would have been money they, could, they couldn't spend on a small business start. Now they can use that money to go start a small business. And number three, he gave them the power of education. Uh, hey, you guys signing on? I'm just so excited about this. I'm not really acknowledging anybody right now because I'm in Paris. I got to go to dinner. But um, he so he he empowered them with education, which you will never unwind. Once you have education, it's yours. So there, so and, and so it's a gift that keeps on giving. It, you gave everybody a fishing pole and a shovel. Okay, uh, you know, Dr. Dorothy Hyde told, used to tell me, "I love you because you're a dreamer with a shovel in your hand." John Bryan and I love Robert Smith for giving everybody a, a, a dream and a shovel um, and paying for it. He gave them education. No, he invested in their education. He invested in their future. He gave them optionality by removing their their biggest debt they've got, student loan debt. And number three, he gave them a role model and a big stick to swing hard and wide at. Um, and I and now hopefully this starts a whole new conversation in black America. We've got, we need everybody, we need careers in all areas. We're probably over-indexed in, in entertainment and sports. We're probably over, in other words, there's not enough jobs to go around. It's probably an over-indexed in the arts. We're probably over-indexed uh, in in public service, meaning politicians and public service, all great. How about some engineers? Only five percent of us there. How about some business people and, and some entrepreneurs in a range of industries? How about some more doctors and lawyers and dentists and and and, and just accountants and, and and real estate executives and real estate investors and corporate executives? I'm talking about business women and businessmen that can create jobs and opportunity, and you can then go into your own neighborhood and put a scholarship in your own name. Maybe it's just one to help educate one child somewhere and give them the optionality that Robert Smith just gave to an entire uh, um, class in Morehouse. Morehouse, congratulations. My friend, Dr. Thomas, congratulations. Robert Smith, uh, kudos, man. I, I don't know you very well. I just met you, but I love you already. I'm out from Paris. Pass on this video. Share, 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 share.